the storm. The Northeast just got hammered with heavy showers and strong thunderstorms. Lots of humidity in place, lots of moisture. This is pretty much going to set that stage for severe storms once again to slam into the Midwest region where we are concerned for damaging winds, hail, and also flash floods. It's going to be a wet one for sure, but some of this weather is going to be pretty serious, and so we need to put the serious face on to talk about the flooding potential. Really batten down the hatches because we're going to have some problems here over the course of the next couple of days, probably right through the weekend. Here's the east today, here's the east tomorrow. And there's more where all this came from. And then on top of that, we have what may actually look like a nor'easter develop for the weekend. A, a real strong, large-scale storm system is going to get wrapped up. So if this is right, all right, this is an extreme event. Now, this is where the buckling starts to happen on Friday, and then everything kind of buckles up into the Appalachians. And notice all this heavy rain up here across Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, and up into the Poconos. That, that, that would be a disaster. You don't need to ask the government. It's not there. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the Button, Baby. Stay cool. Here we go. Showers and storms. Uh, efficient rainfall producers. I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of tricky. Well, it's certainly going downhill here. It could be rather rough. So it could be a rough ride. Isn't that funny how these things work out sometimes? There are likely to be some surprises. Guess what? We're not done. That would be a disaster. Okay, uh, if you're living near streams and creeks that are already running high, which a lot of them are. Rain starts moving in, the severe storms starting to make inroads into the Ohio Valley. It's not just all one unit. There are several batches of thunderstorms developing. These are going to basically be moving eastward. Now, anywhere in red, you have to be concerned about thunderstorms that will produce damaging wind gusts, small hail, and flash flooding. Uh, a lot of rain, and that's going to set the scene for even more rain later on uh, as we get into the weekend, and that it raises the specter of flooding. And all it's going to do is uh, make things soggy for the heavy rain that's coming in for Saturday. This is a jet stream today with the first impulse running out, the second one coming in and getting ready to dig, but then we get to Saturday, you got this very uh, uh, unusual uh, upper level low. Uh, unusual, you know, it, you don't typically see that going into the end of June, an upper level low of this intensity. It goes along the front and then it kind of sags southward on uh, Friday. You know, it, it's kind of it's kind of concerning to me that if you look at the severe weather stuff, everything kind of sags south, given that the models are trying to bring stuff north. It doesn't seem right, you know. So, anyway. So that means we're going to see storm after storm after storm dive south and east with our northwest flow. So the weekend could be a washout. All weekend long, it says a weekend washout, but even more so. That's why I said batten down the hatches. Be ready. There's going to be a lot of rain here, some small stream, even some river flooding, certainly urban street flooding in this whole region. This would mean river flooding and uh, stream flooding to happen. I mean, the you know, mega flood potential that we're seeing. If this is right, all right, this is an extreme event. I mean, so that means we're going to see storm after storm after storm. So that means we're going to see storm after storm after storm. The Northeast just got hammered with heavy showers and strong thunderstorms. Lots of humidity in place, lots of moisture. This is pretty much going to set that stage for severe storms once again to slam into the Midwest region where we are concerned for damaging winds, hail, and also flash floods. It's going to be a wet one for sure, but some of this weather is going to be pretty serious. And so we need to put the serious face on to talk about the flood.